Now then, right, so Friday afternoon and we have got a flyer from work. Happy days, well excited. Uh, it's going to be a light camp this weekend, which we've been looking forward to for quite some time now. Uh, just a, a little one, there's uh, got an invite from Mark over to his permission, so I think there's only three or four of us going, which is nice. Uh, nice new uh, camp for him to check out. Uh, so it's, I mean, all the other lads, they're going in the vehicles, I think. Uh, I'm going to do a light one because my new transfer box whines like an absolute bitch. So, uh, not going to jump on the motorway in that. Plus, it's that time of year, uh, the temperature's dropping rapid. So, like this morning when I go up for work, the van was frozen over. So, you know it's below zero on a night. So, it's, uh, I, like, I like to do a lie camp this time of year. It always makes you appreciate having the, the landing with the double bed, with the heating, with the nice duvet and a kettle next to you and all that stuff so it's I like to strip it back every now and again because you, you do get a bit slack with things don't you so it's, it's one of them ones where you, you're just using heavy all the time and you know you've got multiples of things and options it's nice to strip it back to you know where I don't know I like to get it where you've got your certain items where they've got to have three uses for everything you, it, it's good to have that mindset where you've got to improvise all the time because that improvisation it then takes you to say when you get your vehicle stuck nobody to help you you improvise if you don't practice this regularly and you just get complacent that your system works that's when you come unstuck I think so I don't know but what I would say as well this is something that any one of you I mean there's, there's a few people that aren't physically able hats off fair one uh, and there's some people that aren't physically able that, that still manage it which even bigger respect uh, it's push yourself go out get a, get a rat pack or put your own food together or something and start off go out for a day cook yourself a meal out of your bag take that into a long day take it into a night out you know just move it up it can be on a campsite to start with it doesn't have to be wild camping you can do it out of the boot of your car there isn't really the excuses other than what you make of either you can't afford it which I'm, I'm not I'm not wearing that as an excuse uh, not in this day and age when you can get kit for so so cheap I mean you need a bag which if you can't muster a bag there's issues you need a hexi burner a few quid a metal pot quid you know you can get things as cheap as this you don't have to have the pristine titanium one or anything like that you can just go surplus stop surplus shop and pick up you know a black bomber mug little cook system it, it, it's, it's dirt cheap nowadays but point of this is get out there and just do it because the, the excuses won't go away if anything as life goes on there's more excuses so please get out there uh, there's a lot of people that watch the vids that that say you know thanks it, it's a bit of a you know motivation to get out and do it because it is something that you can all do and you can all enjoy like I say there is the odd exception with people's physicality or, or age or health or what have you but 99% probably 99.9% .9 out there can do it please do it uh, the other thing is while I'm waffling thank you to my Patreons uh, I'm going to get some more videos um, been a bit slack on the video front recently I've just had that much on however there is a backlog of footage um, probably not going to put it all open but I'll bang it on the Patreon and if you want to watch it watch it uh, pretty sure most of you now should have got your hats, stickers, odds and ends, the things that are on there. Uh, if you haven't, let me know. Uh, so yeah, let's let's crack on. We'll get to the gun shop. Uh, we'll get the cartridges, cleaning kits and pump and everything that I need to pick up and then we'll get over to camp.
Right, so we've uh, we've got in the location now. There's a, a big um, rocky outcrop, so rule of thumb is if you've got three blokes and a rocky outcrop, you're going to climb to the top of it just to climb to the top of it. So we've got to the top of that now. Downside is, you can see behind us, sun's going down quite quickly, so we need to decide where we're going to pitch up, make room for everybody when they come later in the dark and uh, crack on. So we'll get down there, we'll get everything up and then I'll, uh, I'll probably get the camera back out again. Yeah. For now, tonight, it's a make-do spot. Yeah, yeah, if, if we're just somewhere near the entrance for tonight, and then we can always wreck you a bit further in and, and go from there. Fucking Right, so we're just getting the, the food on and everything now, so uh, Lee's got a steak on the go and I've just got some old rat packs that I'm getting rid of now. Uh, these are I think these are two or three years out of date now, so they need eating up, so it's it's one of them things. I'll get rid of these, I'll get another case of, uh, you know, a big case of them, and it's just that rotation of stuff. So, uh, for those wondering, I am still doing the giveaway. Uh, I've got loads of video footage to go through for some other videos. I'm going to get this one out of the way, though, uh, and do the draw for that. So, anyone that's done the VR, I need to get them up, and uh, there's plenty of people said they're sharing it and stuff. I've not seen it on one group, I think, apart from Bug Out, uh, from Bug Out North Wales. That's the only group I've seen it on, which is a bit disappointing. And, uh, oh, UK Survivalist, Mark says. Yeah, I've seen it on there. But for the dozens of people that said they've shared it on Facebook, I'm surprised I just haven't seen it. So uh, what I will do, I'll do the draw for that. And then when I've done the draw for it, I'll go through the people that have done it uh, and check to make sure they have shared, liked, and done all the, the jazz and followed all the other gubbins for it. So... Yeah, uh, just gonna crack on, just chilling. This uh, is bushcrafting, look. We ain't even got chairs. <laughs> <laughs> we're cooking <laughs> with a stick. <laughs> it's one of them ones, we're, we're laid on the floor, we've got a little fire going, and it's just nice. It's just really, really nice. Fully stacked Land Rover. Yeah, there's... feet away, yeah. I'm using a stick. <laughs> 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 See, this is why I buy stainless. Stainless, it sticks like a cunt though, doesn't it? No. Season it. You know the same as you do with your um, cast iron pot? Where you put oil in to put it in the oven? I've never fucking used my cast iron pot. See, now you're going to have an issue when you use your cast iron pot than if you haven't seized it. Connie, come lie down. See, that's proper dead, that is. There's no meat, there's no blood in it. That is, is. That's well done, that, mate. It's not. It is. That, that's crucified. That, that, that's, that's, that's like. That's sending it back. Like, it's a fresh one. I mean, if, if you. That's borderline McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot you well, can't well, taste it. That's dead, dead, that is. This is a bit that baffles me. Everybody opens the rat packs on the little tear thing and then struggles like hell or ends up with greasy fingers and all the rest of it trying to get the spoon down there but cut the thing open sideways and you can you've got a big big area to get to all your scram and it's just you can get to the bottom of it it's, it's a bowl now so just makes life easy i love lukewarm food Morning. Right, so a uh, bit of a um, weird night's sleep. Lo loads of hours of sleeping, but kept waking up all the time. I'm uh, struggling with my sleeping bag. I'm too just too big for it. Uh, when it's pulled up, it only comes to about here, and it's tight all the way around me, uh, which it's not overly nice. So um, ended up having to open that up and just pull it over the top of me. You know, the hooded bit of the bag, using that as like the normal bit. So. Oh well, um, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll either look at getting a, a proper man size one or uh, a, just a second one because uh, it's not too bad in that thing. Uh, the only thing is I could do with a decent one for when I'm just in like a you know, like a bivy bag that kind of thing. Uh, that that way it's 
it's nice and claustrophobic and you don't keep waking up because when you normally turn over in bed you can't you just you can't do it in a sleeping bag like that can you so right what we're going to do is uh, i'm going to a little bit of a slow start uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a brew on um, while the uh, water's boiling i'm going to start packing me uh, little thing away so yeah everyone else is still in bed but we did stay up quite late last night and had quite a lot to drink so <laughs> let's, uh, let's get cracking Right, so uh, I always carry a little tube inside it, just put brasso in it because it just it takes a spark real well. So I broke the hexamine tabs down a little bit. I'm just going to put the brasso just in here. It's just to catch the spark and it's also flammable. Um, using my Wessex blade knife that Stu bought me for my birthday with the uh, fire steel that comes with it. I've got one of these to go in the uh, giveaway that I'm doing. So if you haven't seen the giveaway already, have a look a few videos back because that's going to get, I'm going to um, do the draw and everything next week. So, yeah. Uh, with these, what I like to do, it's quite a, a solid ferro rod, this one. What I like to do normally is grind a little bit off so when you chuck a spark into it, that fizzles as well just to make sure. But this is a brand new one, so it's still quite, you know, it's, it's a hard one. Uh, as you can see, it's brand new. Did you see that? My thumb was on. I can light my thumb, but not the fire. <laughs> There we go, that's breakfast, and with the water, just make a little brew, because a lot of people chuck that away, and it's just a waste of water, they'll chuck that away to get the, uh, the food out, and then they'll get some more water out and make a brew, it's just mental in it, so, yeah. Right, so this looks like tonight's spot, so we're going to come in here, and then this section here is going to be the communal area, because there's a nice stone wall here so any fire that we send up this is going to reflect black back towards where we're sat so what we're going to have to do is the the landowner said that basically lovely woodland but it's been taken over by is it rhododendrons whatever this stuff is here um he wants to start thinning it out a little bit so he can he can actually get through uh which is win-win for everybody really because I mean, it's just taking over there's there's nothing on the floor or anything so if we can get some of this cleared out it gives space to you know get stuff set up there's you can see where there used to be paths over this way but it's just it's all started to because really last night i think we're just the other side of that pine tree there but you just can't get well you can get through but it, it'd be an effort to get through so yeah a little bit of pruning this should make it a very very nice spot for uh, winter So everything up to this point I've chopped, so I've managed to work myself into a corner so the lads are just pulling it all out now which should give us enough room to get all those gear in and uh, set up a little communal area. 
Right, so what this bit is, is uh, this is going to be the fire pit here. So Stu's just pulling out all the rocks and things that they get hot, don't they? So if there's any air trapped in them, they explode. And that'd be a real bad time, you know, when we sat around having a beer. So he's clearing that out, getting everything out so it's all mega, mega wet, damp, moist ground there. Guys. We've cleared everything away from around it. So as you can see, I'm going to set up just up there. I'm going to stick my uh, basher up there. I think Lee's going to go just down here. And then, yeah. Creature, creature. Creature, creature. Oh, creature. I'm a creature. You are a creature. We thought Mark was roughing it for a minute, then the fishing bed came out. Anyone can rough it. <laughs> That's where the fire's going tonight. Lee's there. And a little bit further around. And there. I'm just going to tidy all my shit away now. So for dinner, we've got the tuna light -like mayonnaise uh, and then we've got some just miscellaneous odds and sods and that'll do for a bit later on. That, I wouldn't normally like a pork curry, but that's really, really nice. It's not hot at all, but it's got a right nice uh, flavour to it. Blueberry turnover, I'm going to stick a bit of this, uh, it's basically Nutella on it. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole box because there's five million people on YouTube that do Rat Pack reviews and stuff like that. and. Uh, I mean, some of them are really well filmed and uh, got hundreds of thousands of views, but everybody insists on doing these videos. So, I'll, if you want to have a look at it, have a look at one of them. Boggy. <laughs> Water sauce, yeah. Should we get water filters out and get some? I haven't brought these fucking goats. Come here. Did you hear that? <laughs> hey, There's something in the trees, Major. Mark Martin's just had a bit of poo come out because he decided that he was going to come out the undergrowth behind us and try and snipe us. Well, it wasn't expecting me to loose one straight up in the air and he thought he was getting one towards him. <laughs> It's a good job I've got a spare pair of trousers. <laughs> it was straight up in the air. <laughs> you been foraging? Yeah. He's delegating. <laughs> Just giving me some encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> And for the people that say, that's not bushcraft, you've, you've brought that wood in. Well, that's to appease the people that say, stop burning all the trees. <laughs> you can't win with them, can you? No matter what you do, there'll be someone that knows better. You always know better. You've got a t-shirt coming in. And you'll like it. You'll like what it says. <laughs> it's always the ones who've never built a shelter or worked, who've gone in the woods. Yeah. Done anything. You just sit there and go, is he doing that wrong? I did that once on my Duke of Edinburgh, so I know. <laughs> Honey,
going to chop up some uh, pak choy, uh, what they call baby corns, some chilies and stuff, get it in there, start stir frying it. Uh, we've got mussels, crayfish, prawns and noodles. That's going to be done in a black bean sauce. Fancy that? I fancy that. I'll going for a bit of that. What was that like? <laughs> the bushcraft or a tree van. <laughs> Here we are in the wilderness. <laughs> Can I have a magnum? <laughs> <laughs> and a screwball. <laughs> well, the, that ice cream van has not stopped all day. He's like, that is, the, that is the sound of a man with a chest freezer full of unsold ice creams from summer, isn't it? <laughs> Right, so we've got the um, pepper pig jigsaw here, and now Mark's just scrambling up the chicken periods. <laughs> <laughs> All of it's 100% vegan. Fresh out the chicken's arse the other day. Absolutely free as well. <laughs> no, you got any butter? You got any butter? Oh, here he goes. <laughs> you have to butter for the bannock. Oh, yeah, it is. But the mark's got some bread on there and all. Oh, no, do you know what? I'm going to fucking toast it in the fucking mark. Stu's got a thing. He watches all these outdoor programs where they're all cooking and it burns his head out that nobody brings any butter with them. They can bring all the ingredients in the world but they never bring butter and he dies a little bit inside every time he sees it. Guess what I haven't got today? <laughs> I haven't got any fucking butter. <laughs>
Yeah, that's a bit of oil in it. That's why. And I've got my camera bag, as you can see there. It's the only problem with doing the YouTube and stuff is uh, that's all you need. But then you need your drone, your camera, your chargers, your batteries. You, you know all the stuff that you don't need, but if you're doing this, you do need. You can do it minimal, but I'm trying to do the videos better and better as I go along. So it's getting more and more space in the vehicle or an extra bags to, to carry the kit round. So you get, you get you get to the point where you're setting an area up and you're having to make space for expensive kit. But it's well worth it, well worth it. So, that's roaring now. There we go, they're moving. So, thank you very much if you've got this far. Been a bit of a different one. Uh, been really, really good to get back to. I mean, that wasn't a basic camp. I could have gone a lot, lot lighter. But, end of the day, it's one of them ones. It's, it's just a little bit of practice, isn't it? Uh, what I'm going to do is do a, probably a belt kit camp. That'll be a, a little bit more interesting, but probably won't YouTube that one because it's too much of a faff when you, you're constantly on about wondering what kit to bring, what not to bring, things like that. If you sort yourself out, it's easy. So, yeah. Thanks again to my Patreons. Much appreciated. Hope you like the stable camera footage if it comes out alright. Uh, yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Loads more videos backed up. Like I say, it's not had time to edit them all. And uh, competition's still running, so that's almost good to go. See you on the next one.